Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to transfer line art from one drawing to another in Abyss Paint X. So if your device is like mine and it's kind of old, it'll lag out with a lot of layers. So something that I often do is I will sketch on one drawing and I will do the line art on it and then transfer the line art to a completely new canvas so that it won't lag. An example of this that I have in my gallery. Here is an example where I did the sketch in one drawing and then I transferred this into here, did the line art and then did the rest of the drawing here. You can do more steps to this process if you want of course, but I just only needed to do it once. How to actually do this is firstly you're going to need your drawings. I'm just going to use this since it is already done. As you can see here I have a bunch of different layers for the sketch and all that I did was make sure that the background was transparent so make sure that nothing is blocking off the background. Then use these two settings here. It doesn't matter which one you use and that will make the background of this drawing transparent. It's easier in my opinion to use the more dark one because you can see any bits of white that have slipped out that you don't want to be there. Then all you have to do is press back and go here, save as transparent PNG. Since this is a sketch, you could always just do the normal save as PNG and then go into the next drawing. And I'll exit to my gallery. And let's just make a new drawing quickly. And to import this, it doesn't matter if it's the sketch or the line art, I'm just showing you how to do it. It could be literally anything, even the finished piece. You would go here to import picture. I hid the import picture part because I had some personal information on there that I don't want to go on here, but you will be able to see all of your pictures in your gallery and just click on the line art that you did a second ago. You can transform this if you want, but it's easier to just keep it normal so it looked exactly like it did before. Then press the tick when you're ready, and you'll notice that since this is transparent, you could put something underneath it and it still acts like it's transparent. This is on a layer right underneath. So as you can see, it just transfers line art and not a solid white background because of how we did it. This works with any kind of thing. You could draw literally anything and make the background transparent and save it as a transparent PNG. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and please stay safe.